What is good about the money? Just sit down or you may even stand up and, and tell me what I can do for you. Mazi, I... We came to tell you that Adobe has um, gained admission into the university. And so? I have done my best to make sure she she goes to school. But I just need you to lend me a little money so that I can pay for Why don't you save your bread? Huh? What is the need sending this thing to school? Is there any need sending this thing to school? Marcy. I don't know. Why don't you find yourself a good man and get married? of my benevolence, I was standing as your father. And I think that's the best that I can do for you. Vera, anything else? I have not come to beg you to sponsor her education. It's just for you to learn. Well, in the absence of any other significant uh, uh, issue on the agenda, it becomes imperative that you, I mean both of you leave this house as the matter is closed. You can't keep me in this family. Remember where you're coming from. Hmm? Be a good ambassador of this family. We will be praying for you. You will be praying for yourself. Hmm? And God will never cease to bless you. Amen. Let's go. Benji, close the This is not what I had in mind when I acquired the powers that I wield today. Now, against all odds, she has succeeded in sending her first daughter, Adobe, to the university. Just last week, she returned from school after her first semester and suddenly, 
their house has become a mecca, sort of, to all successful young men in this village. That means that soon, all of them will start getting married. One good in law, and Veronica's whole life will change for the better. No way, Veronica. As long as I live, you will never have peace for daring to challenge me. Me that will literally convince my brother-in-law to marry you in the first place. You will cry in this compound forever. Pretend as if I didn't hear you say good morning. Because everybody knows that nothing good comes from you. It is obvious you woke up from the wrong side of the bed. Nah. Go back to sleep, oh? Pray to God to give you a change of heart so that you can wake up from the right side of God the bed. God punish this your mom that you use in calling his holy name. I have better things to do. If you don't have anything to do, go and look for something to cook for your husband. Hey, hey, hey. Veronica, don't even bring my husband to this. Because you have succeeded in killing your own. And, and ever since you killed your own husband, you will skip it to take my husband from me. But you know that will never, never work for you. It cannot work. If I'm, you are fighting me for nothing. If I want a man, I will certainly not settle for the likes of your husband. Huh? Keep him on leash. But please, tell him to stop following me around like a he goat. Veronica. Veronica, I have warned you to lead my husband out of this issue. But you will not listen to me. Be careful. Biko, I have more important things to take care of. Oh? Like uh, attacking me in the night with your witchcraft. <laughs> or preparing for this morning's attack. <laughs> hey! Why is it that evil people like you easily accuse other people of spiritual attacks? Zero, eh? call me evil. You look me in my eyes and call me evil. I will show you evil today. Me evil? I will show you. Ah. I will show you evil today. Yeah. I will show you evil. Informa. I say I am going to show you evil. Informa, informa, leave me. Leave you where? Informa, I want to show you evil. Informa, leave me. I want to show you evil. Informa, I will not leave you. Informa, I will show you evil. Today I will show you evil. Informa, leave me. Mama. Informa, come on. Just, just stay aside. Lead me to settle her. And from here, you will learn how to handle people like her. Okay, Mama. Evil woman. Yes. I want to show you evil if today. I want to <laughs> show you evil. Hey, you, I'm on Mama. You, you, you want to hurt your, 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 your daughters? Your mates out there use you and throw you away like toothpicks. You want to come and show your coward? Just like face. they use your useless naganos. Chimpanzees. Eh? Useless girls. <laughs> I want to show you evil. Leave our children. I don't want to get angry. Get angry. I, I don't want to get angry. Haven't I dealt enough with you that to show your anger? Show your anger. Just leave me. Oh. I said show it. Mama 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 show Mama. it. Show Mama. it. Mama Blue. Jesus. Kindo, are you all right? How can everything be all right? When your behind is just facing me like this. God. See what you carry. <laughs> see, I was just passing my own when I saw you. Hey, see, I want us to run things together. Kindo, me and you don't have anything to run together. Just leave me alone. I'm busy. I should leave you alone. Mm, just you leave me alone. Have you ever seen a fine boy like this in your life? Uh -uh. You're part of the mode fine boy. You're not even happy I came to you. Let me see your mouth. I should leave you alone. Eh, I shall leave me, I'll leave you. 
with all these things you are carrying. Listen, just run things with me and everything will be okay. I don't have any business with you. Just leave me alone. Wait, are you serious? Leave me. Like, are you serious? Yes. Yeah. That's what you want to have, That's what you want to have. Listen, listen, let me tell you. If you don't run this, if you don't run this with me now, it's by force. In fact, then it's by force. If you don't want to with me, I will frustrate you and your family in this village. Try me. Kendo, leave me and my family alone. No, no. We have not done anything. Just leave us alone. Eh. Eh. That's what I be. See, listen. Nobody will know. Who thinks we're here? Kendo, don't just. You see this boy? It's a game. Don't do this to me now. Wait, now you're facing me before. Turn this thing. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the economic contest between my mother and Mama Dobi. Wish your daughter, Mama. I cannot get married, Mama. Let us get married now. Hey, thirty points. Nagano, Nagano. Yes. Hey, Ibrahim. Ibrahim, I'm super Mama. I'm also a Mama. Only you. Hey, Mama. This neck on that fifty points, fifty points, Mama. Mama, fifty points. You're just an idiot. You are here and they're fighting. And we are just commenting. I'm Musu. Oh, woman. I'm Musu Kibo. Will you shut up? What, what is the meaning of this uh, Id idiotic baloney? Why must you convert my compound into a theater of war? Or what I would describe as a, an epicenter of posterity? Uh, 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 and you, Veronica, I have warned you not to engage my wife in any kind of uh, uh, martial uh, brouhaha. If you're tired of witnessing our fights, tell her to leave me alone. And you, before. I have warned you to stop following this woman in her marbundity. What is happening? She has vowed that I will never have peace here. If I'm a, what did I do to you? You are insane and your madness has reached a point of no, no return. Yes. You are insane. I'm a soup. Green snake on a green grass. Of course. You are correct. Listen. Better. If you don't want my indignation to descend with alacrity on you, sequester yourself from my very innocent wife. Very peaceful wife. Abba is a liar. You lie. You see this woman here? You see this fine woman? This woman is also your wife. Oh, thank you. I can even say she's my stepmother, but oh, I won't yes. say that. But she's also your wife. And you followed your elder brother to go and marry her from her father's. Uh, every, is it your father or your mother? From any village, uh, your family village. Uh, my husband. Yes. She said she cannot go for you as a husband. What? You will definitely suffer for it. Because he who never submits anything will one day submit to a burial mat. Did you see that? I it what a consequential impetus. Don't mind it. Oh, I, I, I think your madness. Uh, papa, 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 papa. No, only there, only there, only there, only there. See, let me tell you. Don't threaten me. Don't threaten me with all this your half baked grammar. Eh? I am not scared of English, oh. Who are you to challenge my uh, uh, etymological capabilities? I, 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 do you know what? I am tired of uh, verbosity and super erogation of words. I, I know this one. I, I know. Steve, Steve, stop begging me now. Free grammar. You think I, I, I don't know? Free kids. Speak it now. For all I know, I have given you what, and it is a finality. Never you make any problem with my peaceful wife. Again. You're easy. Truth. I don't like this kind of accusation. How could you accuse me? of having an affair with your second son. Am I that cheap to be having an affair with Ken? Shall we go over this again? I think I have apologized on many occasions and heaven knows that I am real sorry about the whole situation. You see what I mean? Leave me alone. Shoma? Are you not aware of the consequences and the implications of pushing down a man of my social status to the a ground? A man of your social status, like you said, should know that an angry girl like me can do anything to express her anger. Or aren't you aware that an unsatisfied woman is an angry woman? In what ramifications have I failed in providing you with all your needs as my concubine? I have warned you several times, Ignatius, to stop calling me your concubine. Can't you be a little bit romantic with words for once? How could you address me, a young girl, with such an archaic word? Ah, I don't like it. No, Shoma. You have the impunity of executing the impulsion of grounding me 
Oh my God. Listen. I will remain like this until the elders of Udeo will come here to cleanse the atrocities you've committed. Sacrilege! <laughs> if this is a scheme, Ignatius, for you not to give me the money you promised me, you would get it off me. You better start off from this ground. I don't know what you're doing here. If not, you will not see my local government again. Chum, why should you issue such a a threat over my frivolity of just uh, <laughs> stretching out on the ground a little. If I may ask, we are you not the person who said that I am lacking romanticism? I was only joking, it's part of the game. Forget you. Forget you. Give me the money you promised me. You will not touch me again, Ignatius. I swear, you will not. Oh, Shema. Eh, Shema, you get the money, definitely. You know my love for you is beyond human imagination. It is phenomenally unprecedented. And let me tell you one thing. It's a secret. I have already earmarked a huge sum of money for your developmental strategies. I tell you the truth. Seeing it happen, Ignatius, you will inspire me more. Not Bibi Grandma. Stop speaking. Bibi Grandma will not give me money. Don't give me money. Give me money. I'm going bye bye. Uh, uh, Chioma, Chioma. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Give me a second chance, and do we know exactly what I have planned for you? I have a lot of, a lot of things, a lot of things in the air for you. I'll take you wherever you want to go. Just give me, give me a little time. Give me a little time. I want money. Give me money. Give me now. No, now, now. I'll give, give it to you. Now, give me money. I I'll definitely money. will give it to you. Just come back. Listen. What sort of rubbish is this? Well, I know this is the work of the devil. It is the work of the devil. I will soon, I will soon make money and you definitely will come back to me. What a nonsense. What a stupid act on your side. Juliet is about to get married. No, not when I'm still alive and in this family. My wife. Your, your wife? What, what, what are you talking about? The lady you are planning to get married to. I mean, the one you're on your way to a house to see is my wife. You, my friend, I don't know you. God, this was a joke. <laughs> Leave her alone. Leave her alone, or I will kill you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Can you at least let this fool rest? Please. Juliet, why should I? I need answers. I need to know why he's not been taking my calls. If you like, eh? Call him from today till tomorrow. If he does not want to pick a call, he will not pick your calls. Please, let's walk in. Eh? Oh, go house. I need to eat. I'm hungry. You're not getting it. He said he was coming yesterday. Today is Saturday. Is I've that, still not heard from him. Is yeah. that why you want to stress yourself to death? Again, please now. I think you can have this whole thing sorted out tomorrow. Juliet, I can't handle the disappointment. Who do I tell my story to? It's better no man comes to seek for my hand in marriage than have one come and go for no reason. Okay, believe me. There is time for everything. If Ekena doesn't come back, then he is truly not your husband. Just calm down. This whole thing will... It will... It will... It will... It will fail soon. Hmm? Please. Juliet, how would you feel if Festo stops taking your call? Shh! What's your problem? My relationship with Festo should be private for now. Please. Now, don't tell me trouble. Don't care. Give it back. I'm not giving it to you. Okay, I've told you to stop calling this guy. Stop calling him. He will see you as a desperate girl. And this is one thing you shouldn't show a guy. What's your problem? Would you let you know I'm not desperate? I'm not. This is not the first time this is happening to either me or you. If we get married, the burden will be less on Mama. And God willing, our husbands will be able to see us through school. Is it right for most that to save our cost? Okay. We are not cost. I will not and I will never subscribe to that. Okay. Where is Injideka? No, nobody has seen her around here today. Let me know as soon as she comes home. Okay. Then. Okay. Inchedu. What's going on? Injideka hmm. stole all the money in the shop. Why would she steal all the money in the shop? When you were the one there with her? Sister, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Mama just said she's not going to give me money for my extramoral classes. And you're here saying another thing. Why would she give you money for extramoral classes? Don't you know the kind of person Jideka is? You left the shop in her care. What were you expecting? I would have known she was going to steal the money. Why would you, you leave it for her? It's not my fault. No, it's my own fault. Please, I don't like it. I don't like this. Please. Me, I like it. Please go. Me, I have, I have my own problems. Hey, ah. <laughs> Mama, I don't know how else to communicate to Papa on my desire to go and learn a trade. Mama, I'm sick and tired of sitting back in the village doing nothing. I want to be useful to myself. Steve, my son. I've also tried to talk to your father about it, but he keeps telling me that he does not have money now. But he promises that he's expecting some money real soon. Hmm? Just a little patience. Papa. I don't think Dama wants to give me any money. Your father will give you all the money you need when he gets it. Oh? Okay. Hmm. Madame will no longer deceive me. Yes, he can deceive you, no problem. He's your husband. But for him to deceive me, it's not possible. He thinks I don't know that all the money he's making is for the servicing of one small girl that he intends to marry or he's planning to marry as a second wife. Mama. Yes, Mama. Stephen! Thunder will strike you, deaf and dumb, if you make one more atrocious statement against me. How can you make such speculations, conjectures, with questionable exactitude and ramifications? Hey, 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 hey. You Don't even bring in your big, big grammar into this one. Keep them out of this. Tell me, what another wife? Uh, who is she? Where does she live? 
and whose daughter is she? Stephen, how does that idea get into your little head that I am trying to become Africa's King Solomon by taking another wife? Look at you, sitting comfortable and exchanging banters with a woman and swapping gossips like a like one. Steve, tell me, who is the girl? Where does she live? And who's that I see? See, I have vowed not to spend any of my hard and money on you, Lofa. Bravo Reza. Just imagine. You have just stared a blue hive. And now I'm getting ready to face the consequence. You eat. Where do you think you're going? Where? Where are you going to? Who is the girl? Tell me who she is. Before my... You must tell me who the girl is and who her parents are. Oh my god. Don't you ever underestimate my extraordinary valor and prowess in combat. Mm. By the way, let me pass. Igina! Igina! You just have to what you cannot finish! You just have to what you cannot finish! Come here! Come here! Come here. Tell me, who is the girl? Where does she live? And whose daughter is she? Tell me! The girl. Um, I really don't know. What do you mean you don't know? What? Uh, me personally, I've not seen the girl. It's just that somebody told me that uh, uh, she always see, uh, see, sees Papa with one particular girl. You know, see the, all, all the time and uh, Papa is planning to... Uh, uh, no, she said that the girl told her that uh, Papa supplies her with everything she needs. Anytime she asks for anything, Papa will give it to her and Papa promised to marry her as a second wife. Somebody told you that. She said that. Yes, ma'am. Steve, are you dumb? No, ma'am. Are you daft? No, ma'am. You just made me start a fight with your father over something you're not even sure of. So this thing, this this idiot you call a son, had the ghost to join me to fight our mother, be you, we but not that today. We just want it. We just want to show him that even as girls, we have the strength to beat him blue, black. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> Ma don't worry. Ma I will I'll, I'll go and call our sister and, and, and Ken. They don't come and destroy you. We have the strength. Why what's your son's? Mama sister, we will not leave our father's son. Bring your sons out, Mama sister. Bring them. Let's fight it out. Bring your son. You cannot leave <laughs> Come! I will tear you into pieces! I will tear you like a lioness! Useless girls! Dogs! Daughters of Amosu! Chimpanzee! Um, Mas Ignatius. I'm really sorry about all this. I could have come to inform you in the house a long time ago. But you know, children of nowadays, they are unpredictable. You're correct. You would have come to the house, but you did not, and that's why I'm here. And secondly, I know their characters are very unpredictable. But let me unequivocally and unambiguously emphasize that this is an unprecedented affront of my person in this community. Uh, Igne, you know when you get angry 
we find it very difficult to understand what you say. Just close your book of cavity and let me your ears. You liaise with your son to ignominiously abdicate the marital vows he made to my brother's daughter. But they are not yet married. My son only promised to marry in camp, but as of now, he has changed his mind. He told me probably that he's no longer interested. No, no. I refuse to take this superficially. And I promise you, I must get to the abyss of this perfidy and be rest assured that you and your son will be summarily dealt with for this impudence. And, and, and if you don't know, uh, 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 what your son committed tantamounts to what is called uh, 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 prudent jocosity and uh, sexual rascality and obscurity. We are, we are in all that I am a Christian. I would have engaged myself in what is called a, 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 a diabolical jingoism. Please, eh? notice. It has not got into that level. Don't take it that way. You need to understand. Okay, understand. Agreed. But you have succeeded. You have succeeded in uh, plunging the image I brought over the years from the pinnacle of glory to the depth of ignominy and insignificance. And you are telling me to understand. I won Ikenna, but he refused. It was really stated that when a figure tips oil, it will soil the rest. I know what to do. My husband. Yes. Hey! I am happy that you have finally made Veronica and children know that you are the end of this family. Well done. Yes. I'm the head of the family. What a colossal, phenomenal, anthropological waste. Yes. You're right. They are responsible for whatever waste it is you are talking about. But wait a minute. What really happened? You see, I want to have a tete a tete with Mazio Koro, but sadly ascertained that his son, uh, Ikenna, has reneged on his promise to come and pay and do this bright price. You see, I have tried to endure it as a man. It has tenaciously kept my subconsciousness away to uh, Igine. Mm. Ah! I only ask you what made you send the Rican to the party. That's all. Who's speaking all this grammar? That's 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 what I'm trying to extrapolate, enunciate, and in fact clarify. Do, do, do you know that the plans I made, consequent upon the money I spent to receive as Adobe's bright price has just evaporated. I mean, uh, gone into the go with the winds. You can hear? I have always told you that those people are evil. Evil people. I see. This is a predetermined uh, 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 conspiracy by that loquacious woman and her children against me. You see, I really need that money. We all need money again. Every dick, Tom and Harry, we need money. Since they have decided to sabotage me economically. I have made up my mind to dislodge and evict them from my brother's house. Very good. Yes. Very, that is good. You gonna send Veronica and her children out of the house. If that's what you really mean. Is that what you mean? That's exactly what I mean. <laughs> send them out. Veronica. Veronica! Veroshet! Where is, where is that woman? Veroshet! Veroshet! Why were you shouting my name like that now? Bring out those witches of yours. Hmm. Are you deaf? Aso, bring out those witches you have in there as daughters. The Naga knows. Iku mm -hmm. Bring them out! Yeah? I do not have witches in my house. If you have wizards in your house, go in there and bring them out yourself. Veronica, Veroshet, Vero Trouser, go in there, bring your daughters out so that my daughter can talk to them. Who invited you into this matter? Will you ever mind your business for once? Everything that happens here is my business. Yes. And mind you, learn how to talk to me with respect, unless you want me to twist this and what I'm reshaping for you. She's correct. Oh, Vero, why don't your useless daughters, those witches, why have they refused to get married? and leave this compound or have their spirit husbands debate them from uh, getting married I wonder eh? then let the spirit husband come and pay their bride price oh if my daughters have spirit husbands that means 
it must be the same spirits that are disturbing your useless sons. What? Will you just shut up? Well, I think I've now come to realize that it, it is high time you and your useless daughters left this compound. That will be for peace, and it will be done now. Bam! Igwe! His Majesty has spoken. Will you shut up? Will you listen to me? Go in there, pack your things, and leave this compound for good before you kill everybody with your witch. Sorry, did you say that? Wait. Am I not better? Ah. No, that's it. Okay. At least I have one. You are your own. You have killed your own with witchcraft. And you have tied all your daughters that they are not getting married. Spirit's husband. Sir, I did not stop you for us to fight. Okay? I just want you to give me back my money. Which money? Which money? Am I the only person in this house? Why will you be accusing me? I'm not accusing you. You are mad. You were in that house when that money was on the table. Uh -huh. Okay? So all I want, in fact, see, uh, just forget about everything, eh? See, just empty your pocket. Empty your pocket, let me see the contest and me. I should empty my pocket. Empty it. You are a big fool. I mean, I swear if you name me, I'll bust you. You bust my head! I will bust your head! Can I just bust my head? Okay, bust my head, see. What's it? Oh. Mm. Yes, I oh. Sons come out, you two will show your face. Of course, yes. <laughs> you have failed as a mother. Eh? You think I am I'm, I'm the same thing with you? I'm not in the same level with you because you don't have any, any any bearing in this family. When you are ready, you just get out with your spiritually married daughters. Are those those boys? Of course, yes. Are those those boys? Okay, you want to try them? Go and sleep with any of them and see what they will do to you. I'd rather them. take my chances with my girls, Vico. <laughs> I know that. Pack out of this place and leave us in peace. Once you pack out, my prayer will work on my children, they will become all right again. You are the one bewitching them. <laughs> God will set them free. Bros, what is it? No, I was I was passing by and I that is used to remember. Bros, bros. 
Rose, Rose. Yes, correct, correct, correct. Hi. Oh. Ah. Oh. Umpa. <laughs> hey, this is good. Chineke. Oh, give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Thank you, boss. Anyway, thank you. He boss. Thank you, man. Thank you. Ah! Oh, my God! He boss with that. Hi. Oompa. Hey boss, where did you get this stuff? This is good. That's my little secret. But if you want more, I can always arrange. Yeah, hey, boss, I beg. Only time you're coming here, just tell me. Boss, let me know. What is it? Tell me. What, what's going on? Boss. There's something I've always wanted to tell you. What is it? You know how people go about in this village saying that you're crazy? Or even mad? Steve! Me mad? Who is saying it? No, I'm not the one that said it. All. I'm, I'm not among those saying it. So who are the people saying it? Uh -huh. You see? You see it now? You see why I said I don't want to tell you anything? Because you won't cool your head down and listen to me. You see it? Okay, let's just forget about it. Let's take this. Uh, 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 no, we are not going to forget about it. I need to know those that are talking rubbish with my name. Tell me, who are the people? Because it's not only one person, no. And you're not even the only person that's, that's saying things about. They're even talking about Osita and me. Wait, Steve, you don't blame people that are talking rubbish about us. Yeah? Okay, let me ask you. When was the last time you had good money in your pocket? Steve, you and I know I don't need good money. As long as I have enough to buy my stuff. What else do I know? I buy my stuff and that's what matters to me. Bro, it's not all about, really all about buying stuff or... Because we need to hustle on our own and make good money. I'm telling you, this thing is getting out of hand. I'm sick and tired of sitting back in this village, waiting for boys of my age who have come to the city and made big money. All they do is come back here, buy abatesh, beer, and hot different kinds of hot drink and give me a drink to stupor and be useless. I'm sick and tired of it. It's time we hustle on our own, make good money, and even come back to the village and buy for some useless boys too. Eh? Yeah? better think about this thing. Uh, um, Steve, go home. Okay. But, but, Steve, let me. I say go home. Let me just take. I say go home. Here. What is it? And why are you embarrassing me? Where did you get the necklace? This is my necklace. How did you get it? What sort of embarrassment is this? Does this look like, like, like your necklace? It's like you don't know who you are dealing with. Gently give me the necklace before I cut off your neck and take it. And you must be a thief. What? It is you that is a thief? My sister gave me this necklace for my birthday, so I, I don't know what you're talking about. You have my stolen necklace with you. And instead of returning it back to me, you're here telling me that my boyfriend is a thief. You call my ah! boyfriend a thief? You slapped me! Thief? You she necklace. What evil have you perpetrated to eventuate this kind of uh, uh, altercation? If not that I knew that she's your daughter, I would have beaten her to death. God punish your mouth 15 times. How can you call this my daughter? Yes? She's my late brother's uh, daughter. We don't have daughter. Okay. We don't have daughter. Mama. What is it? Mama, I didn't do anything. <laughs> These people saw me and started claiming that the necklace in Jideka gave to me belongs to them. 
and they wanted to take it, but I resisted, and they started beating me up. Look at my face. Look at Daya, me. Will you shut up? Kelechi bought this necklace for me two weeks ago. Robbers came into my father's house, and they stole a whole lot of things from us, including this my precious gold necklace. Which I found on your daughter's neck. Mazia, I want her to tell us where she got it from. It will help us to find the robbers and recover the stolen items. No, 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 wait, wait. Nchedo, I never knew that you have metamorphosed into an armed robber. I've been I had the erroneous impression that being a witch was. I not... reject it in Jesus' name. Amen. Mazia, my daughter is not a thief, she's not a robber. Hi! Veronica, are you saying that all these people are telling lies? Oh. Eh? See how hopeless you are. Instead of accepting that your daughter is an armed robber, you are here, rising to her defense. Lawyer, So, my children, I don't want this devil may care attitude to tarnish the image I have built over the years in this community. Just wait for them. At the village square. Yes. Waiting for them at the village square, how will they solve these problems? You see, why I say that you should wait for them there is that that should be their new home. Because I don't think we should, uh, uh, we can accommodate thieves in this uh, family. Exactly. So, what for <laughs> the village square? Now you are talking like a man. That <laughs> yes. Eh? Head of the family. <laughs> anyway, you people have heard what my husband said that you people should go and wait there. Yes. Eh? Mm. Anyway. Go ahead, You think I will allow you to throw me out of my house? If you get my house. If <laughs> <laughs> your wickedness will not kill me. Okay. These people came here and complained to you about something they said my daughter did. You did not even ask my daughter if she did it or not. You just concluded. Oh. What kind of a man are you? What kind of a woman are you that is always hiding your children's evil? My dear, listen. As soon as I get them ejected, evicted, and thrown out of this house, then you can do whatever you please with them. Let's go. Let's head, go. Of, head of the family. Go away. Let's go away. Don't go for our house. Anyone, don't go for Let's go. <laughs> I did not say anything now. Uh, good. Thank God. Well, Steve, this flower is very healthy. Are you going to celebrate it? Wait. I thought you said you didn't say anything. Well, I didn't say anything now, nah, but. You don't they put eye for my mother for this village. And it go over you. And they tell you. Why you not go visit down one place everywhere where I go I go to see you? They send you. Ah. Me, Njide. Follow you. Don't you know I have business to attend to? Eh? You're the one that is always snooping around areas that I visit, Steve. Me will be jobless person will not get business. I don't they snoop around, Abi. I don't know why you're not going to use this young sit down for one place. I don't know who me and you who be arranged, the arranger for this village. Let me warn you. If you like, tell the vigilante of this village. Or even commissioner of police. No. Make I, the goal the highest, tell governor. Say you see me for arranging something from this house. But you over you. I will tell you true. Why will I do anything like that? Uh -huh. Thank God. At least you get sense. And no say, as me and you start now, so you don't see this file. This is where they talk, say fine. You the one I wait or I will see. I will see, Geshe. You the Chris. Shh. Njide, you the Chris. I will see. You're not going to get one thing from me. Whether I wish you, leg will work out, the hand will catch, it will not concern you. Go sit down for the place. Steve. Steve. Wait. I'll say you want them. That's why I want them. Okay. You're the Chris. You know I'm going to marry? You go see. Tell me you for this village, oh. if you don't respect yourself, do your own. I go to arrange yourself with the one I will see. Shut, 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 shut up, now like, like you cause this nonsense. Which guy, which guy, which guy? Ah! This 
more fun when I do scooping them. What? If you give me my bag, my husband said you should leave. I am not going anywhere. So that this can't be done. Come on, sit down. Come on, sit down. Give me the. I'm warning you. What is that? You don't want to clap down. I don't want to injure you. Give me my bag. Come on, sit down. My wife is getting too much from you. Yeah, can I be? Yeah, can I move? Yeah, can I edge? 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 Your father now told them to pack out of this thing that they cannot harbor thieves in the house. It's a liar. They refuse, though. So if you know what is good for you, come and join us and throw them out. It's a liar. They didn't steal anything. They didn't steal anything. You want to leave our bag? Shut up, boy. If I'm not standing on my bag, drop it. Give me my bag. Take it. I don't. I don't want to injure you. If I'm not, give me my bag. You haven't injured me yet. If I'm not, hold it down. Give me my bag. Hold it down. Give us our bag. Eh, eh, eh. See, see, see. All of you just listen to me. I'm in the mood to kill somebody right now, but I don't know who I will kill first. So if all of you do not put your hands together and take this back inside, I'll stop killing. Go, 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 go. What else do you know how to do, except what you're doing now? You are there, drinking and smoking, while another woman is insulting your own mother. And you do, you do not have anything to do about it. Mama, as you can see, I am very busy. So just leave me alone and go inside. Very busy indeed. Two of you, then there are powers, and there are powers, there are also powers. Avoiding me for days now. And you think I am stupid by letting you. Where is the money you stole from my shop? Mama, I did not steal any money from your shop. You think I'm joking, right? Where did you get the necklace you gave to, to Inchedo? Which Inchedo? Did I give any necklace? That gave me a necklace on my birthday. Hmm. Mama, one inch a door. I didn't give her any necklace. And where did you get this money from? Mm -hmm. right. Mama, she's lying. Why are you lying? You're just a bloody liar. Nichedo, keep quiet. I gave birth to all of you. And to a large extent, I know what each of you can do. I do my best to take care of you. Njideka, you will not kill me. You will not kill me. You gave that necklace to Njideka. Oh. You were a thief. Why are you lying? Why now? Why are you lying? How? When? Okay. What? Go in there and get me a person. Okay, ma. If you don't tell me where you got that. That necklace from, I will kill you this night. Bring it! You better talk to Are you ready to talk? No, no. Okay. I will, I will talk. Uh, I gave him Chadu the necklace. Why? Where did you get it from? Are you ready to talk or not? What's that? Hey, Mama. What are you doing? I came to the market to buy one or two things. One or two things. Is that a joke, Michael? What's that? 
So you now walk into my my, my, my kitchen anytime you like and collect food. Oh. So you knew I came to collect food? And you're asking me what I was doing in the kitchen? Hi, Mama. Mama, please, oh, let me eat this food this way. What's it? You and your useless brothers will not kill me for my time. Mama. We have not decided yet, oh, but very soon we will decide. Mama, I want to ask you something. Are you the one that cooked this food? You're the one that cooked this kind of food. No fish, nothing, even sardines you could not even buy. Only onions, onions. Mama, why not buy something I put inside? I would have succeeded today in sending Veronica out of this place. But Kenneth, point everything for me. This food is tasteless. This food is tasteless. There is no salt. I think you should add a little bit of pepper inside. There is nothing inside. Just onion, onion, onion. Even the maggots one side. The rest is one side. It's not good. Where are you people coming from? Mama, I was coming with a big surprise for everybody. Yeah? A very big surprise. Emma, please don't spoil this surprise with your questions. Eh? Yeah? Steve-o. Yeah. Steve-o. <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> Steve-o! <laughs> my brother. You're smiling. That is my brother. Yes, I'm now your That's brother. my brother. Hey, hey. Come on, move your hand. Yeah. That is my younger brother. Uh, I'll show you, Mama. Steve, oh. um, no, let me share it. Let me share it into two. Mama, take this one. This is for you. Steve, oh. That is my younger brother. Steve, oh. Look at you. I don't mind that. Shame on you. You are happy to be late because your youngest brother gave you money. Hey, Mama, tell them. Tell them. Tell them. My brother. <laughs> <laughs> did you say I should go out and enjoy this money? Mama, go and enjoy yourself. Um, Steve, where did you get this money from? Did you, Chris? Hey! Eh? Steve, last minute I can't go Steve, please come. Please, eh? Can they give me 2,000 naira for something please. very important? Something very important, that 2,000 naira. Steve! Steven! Can't you go here? What are you doing in my house with this your witches? Didn't I got lost? Nigga, no. Benji, Tell your farmer what you told me in the panel. Uh, if you waste uh, one second of mine, now, you, you see what I'll do to you. I told you I was the one that gave him Chedo the necklace for her birthday. Is it the stolen necklace? I had always known that all of you are thieves. No, yeah. she. Yes. Anyway. Whether it was Uncheddo that gave to you or you gave to Uncheddo, it doesn't make much difference. The main thing is that all of you are thieves. Ndoshi, Ndoshi. Ndoshi, Ndoshi. Where did you get that necklace from? No, ask her where she stole the necklace from. It was Steve that gave me the necklace. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. I, I caught him the day he robbed that house. Okay. So he gave it to me that I should go. Shut up your stupid mouth. What is that supposed to mean? Are you mad? No. Uh -huh. Yes. Are you mad? Will you shut up? Steve, you're the one that is mad. In fact, Walker, yes. uh -uh. I caught you the day that you robbed that house. No, all of you leave my house. Okay. No, no. What's the No way. Again, you have survived my attack today, Veronica. Keep surviving, and I will keep attacking you. Whatever powers it is you have used on my children to make them useless. Go on. But you rest assured that as long as I live, 
you will never have peace. Your daughters will never get married. And poverty will never allow you to send any of them to the university again. In short, useless one. No wonder those witches you get back to refuse to get married just for them to have enough time to be junketing and. Uh, uh, uh. Mazigne, my children are not witches. I just came to you to help me give me a little money to, to compliment the one I have so that Juliet and Nkem can go back to school. You see the irony of life. I will say I won't, I will not give you the money. Way for you to accept me so that I will be of help to you and you'll be of help to me at the demise of my brother. But to block that, he refused. See now, you are coming to me for financial help. How will refuse? I'll give it to you. As if you know, it is only a loan I'm asking for. I will pay you back as soon as I No, no, hold on. I know the type of school your daughter's attending, but all I'm saying. You should tell them that I say that they should mend their ways. Because as far as I'm concerned, prostitution is not a way of life. I will not help them in any way. Mazigne, my children are not prostitutes. I will appreciate it if you stop referring to them as prostitutes. All right, good and fine. Then, Veronica, why don't you go back to the backyard and pluck money from those trees you have over there? Maz, thank you. Thank you for your insult. You can keep your money. Before you leave, let me once again remind you that it's still not a late for you to accept me. At least I could be of help to you. Most importantly, you have not hit menopause. And I am sure if I meet you, for sure, you get bouncing baby boys. I did not give birth to girls because it was in my power to do so. I only brought out what your brother put inside of me. Thank you very much for the offer. Uh, uh, Veronica, wait. Oh. Uh, you always, you always in a hurry. Just hold on. Sir, I'm not a criminal. Mama, don't let hey, us officer, take... please, please. What did she do that warrants a, a, a police arrest? Me? She is a suspect in an armed robbery incident. Armed robbery. Yes, and if you want to know more, come to the station too. Officer, please. My daughter is not an android. Eh? Whatever it is, we can we can settle it here before we are. Are you aware that uh, the police have arrested in Jamaica? Veronica's daughter for armed robbery. Huh? Arm robber? Hey! You see? You see what I've always told you? But you won't listen to me. Send these people out of this place before they kill us with their bad luck and, and, and evil. I never would have imagined that Njideka has graduated from a petty uh, thief to an armed robber. A boho armed robber. The good has eaten palm from from my head. Igina, if this is true, huh, then you know we stand the risk of being arrested. Here, I think it is time for us to run away from this village, oh, until everything comes down. I think you have it. Arrest and running. Mama, will you shut up your stupid mouth? I will shut up, but I still want to know. Crime you've committed that has warranted this discussion of um, risk, arrest, and um, going underground. Do you sometimes think about your entire life? Do you realize you are somebody's first son? You should be giving good example to your younger ones. <laughs> Good example that I learned from home. Am I you? 
Oh, Papa, will you just shut up? Eh? I am ashamed of you as my son. Thank you. I love you so much. Osi, hmm? even if you are 18 years old today, I am still your mother. I still see you as my child. Go inside and eat. Go inside, go inside, go inside. Go inside. Look at the Babu, no, go inside. Bashi is bending one side on the side. Screaming by myself. Mama, good evening. How are you people doing? Mama, see, you just have to be strong. Hmm? You've been holding on all this while. You just have to be strong. Don't mind whatever Mama Sita is saying or doing. Mama, you have been strong all this while. Don't worry. I'm very sure everything will be fine. Everything. Mujideka. What is wrong with her? Why is she bent on causing trouble all the time? <sighs> okay, Mama. It's okay. Um, I'll send you the little money I have. It's alright. It's okay. Good night, Mama. Hmm. When is all this going to stop? Chamaka, please, please. I need 30,000 naira urgently. I don't have that kind of money right okay. now. If you don't have 30,000, can you make it 20? 20,000 naira, I'll pay you back at the end of the month. Are you in some kind of problem? Chamaka, if I don't have a problem, I won't come to you begging for money. I have serious family issues I need to sort out. Please, I'm begging you, just help a friend. Ada, I can give you 15,000 right now. 15,000 naira. It's okay. All right. Yes, thank you very much. Njideka, your sisters and I have been through a lot to get you off the police net. I want to tell you all that I have sold the last set of my good wrappers and added the proceeds to the money Adobe sent to us just to secure your bail. I'm sorry. I don't want to hear anything from any of you now. I called all of you here so that we can discuss our problems as a family. Mama, our problems are not far from Mama Osita and, and her children. Yes. Even their father. Mama, Angela is right. Mama, before you start holy holy prayers now, I will suggest you go and warn them. Mama, warn them seriously. I mean, if you were going to fight, they will go and fight them. Go and fight. If they want to kill us. We know we died fighting. Exactly. Shut up, my friend. What do you know about fighting and wars? I know Steve set me up. Yes. At least I learned that much from the police station. Mama, I know that arrest wasn't legally done. It wasn't. It was all a setup to frustrate us. Are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, Mama. Very sure.
on this. Radhika, why should you budge into me like that with your... With this is you call your daughter. Eh? See, I don't want anything to miss in my household. If, if I look for anything here, I will call the police. A hey, former, you are the one trading a criminal in this house. Where is Steve? Tell him to keep all his stolen goods to himself. He should stop passing them over to Njideka. You don't want again. No, no, no. Oh, again. Wait, must everybody die in this house because you have problems? I Will you shut it? up? Who is this one? What sort of nonsense allegation is this? See, just go to your house now before I change my mind. What can you do? You say? What will you do? Monkey! If I'm a, I can see you have unleashed your puppy to back at me. What is it? L listen. Learn how to talk in the presence of those who know better than you. Why should you call my son a puppy? Eh? Moreover, what is your criminal of a letter to stay away from my son and not uh, 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 involve my son in all her criminal activities. You think you know better than me, okay? Because you have these things you call sons. Puppies. If you want to fight me, you think you can beat me up. Be my guest. So, Mama, don't you call me a puppy. Puppy! That's what you are. Me, puppy. What can you do? No, no puppy. Just wait. You are waiting. Wait, just wait. We are waiting. Leave me, puppy. Wait, I'm coming. Oh, Kuala. Here, man, man. Here, man, man. Come on, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring us up. We are ready. 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 What is what? Where are you coming from? Well, I went to hustle. Hustle? I went to hustle. I wonder why God gave me three idiots as sons. Three solid idiots. Hey! You and your elder brothers are nothing but disgrace. Shame to manhood. Hustle. Ewe. Uburona. Mama, you know I don't like insult. You know it. Mama, please don't insult me. Insult on my cognac, Mashish. Will you just shut that your mouth up there before I shut it for you? Insult. The only thing you know is when it comes to talking, you know how to stand your ground with the back. Take that down for for ground, though. Macham, macham, macham. Mama, this is my inspiration, no? It's speaking. My inspiration is this one you just shut up! It's be what? Eh? If you were not my son, eh? I would have killed you for exposing me to the kind of insult Veronica and her useless daughters gave to me today. Huh? Your brother couldn't even stand to 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 ordinary girls. Common girls. Hi! Okay, Mama, sorry. I'm sorry about that. Bye, Alova. Obiko. Sorry. But if, if I wasn't out there hustling, it would have been a different case. Hustling? Hustling now? What are you, what are you hustling? What are you hustling to? Mama, anything. Anything if it's like anything. Yeah, be, be pocket, oh. wait, wait. The main thing is that I will make this money and I will bring it to this house. Mama, you know if I, you know your son. If I make this money, I will take care, financially, I will take care of you in this house. <laughs> you know your son, now. Nah. <laughs> hey, wait. Obulona, so all the hustling. Where is it? Mama, this your son is a sharp boy, you. <laughs> sharp boy. Anywhere I enter, he move. <laughs> I will bring it to this place. I used to take care of you. But then, I know some boys in this village that made it big in the city with the big money their mother gave to them, and they used to start up something in the city. Mama, tell me. Tell me one good foundation you and Papa laid for me in this house. Foundation? Foundation to become real, a real man. Look at it. I just told you that another woman insulted your mother. Your own mother. You're not thinking of what to do or what to say. Shame on you. 
she insulted me because of you. Because of you. Now listen to me. If you and your stupid brothers don't avenge that insult today, eh? Hey, hey. I will never, never forgive you people. Never! You know what I have to See me sit down. And any mama like him. Django mama like him. They say monkey no find, but your mama like him. Am I Django's mother? Oh, mama, you are Ibo's mother. Am I Anini's mother? Nobody brings in stolen things into this house. Never. You will not. All the bush meat I used to bring in this house. Got the money for meeting I used to give you. Where do it's you think it. they came from? Sure. Eating it and you forgot that they, God <laughs> they, they came from everywhere. I will never eat it. Mommy! <laughs> yes, this reminds me. There's, there's one place I need to go. Uh, Shiyama. I've told you that I am doing everything humanly possible to make sure that you have the money. Oh, have I not been giving you any money requested for in the past? Baby, you have. But I need more. more. It's alright, just relax. At the maturity of my later business venture, <laughs> money will not be your problem again. I'll give you everything you need. You know I have to look good. Get some new clothes. Mm -hmm. Make my hair so I can look like those city girls. For you, baby, you know what I'm talking. Oh my, oh my. Again, as if they do me. It's in the do you. <laughs> you won't give me money. Get as if they do you. I won't add more money. Again. No, that money is no problem, you know. I'm going. I'll see you later. Uh, come, eh? come, come, come. Come on, see me later. Why? Look, the weather is very serene and the atmosphere is very conducive. Why don't we go inside that bush? I have a quick one so that I, I can go home a happy man. <laughs> <laughs> go inside there, have a quick one. Do, very quickly, you can go. But Iman will tell you, go, have a quick one. Have you forgotten? I told you that you will never see this in my pants again until you give me the money you promised me. If not, nothing for you. No show for you. I'm making everything possible to see. Chioma! Eh? Chioma! Eh, Keivo! This is evil. Eh? This is wickedness. Chioma! Um, you will regret this in your day, no? Why you are you Kennedy, I was told you brought to this house. Fallout with immediate effect before I Kennedy! Kennedy, <laughs> Kennedy, my brother. You got this no, 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 no. If you were in this house today, you would have killed somebody out of anger. Anger. Killed who? Mama Odobi came here with. They came here and insulted our mother, my mom. Insulted her like no one has ever done before. It was such humility, brother. You understand what I'm So, how many of them did you kill? I'm your brother. I dealt with them. I fought like I have never fought before in my life. You need to see what I did. You need to see what I did. I did. Yeah, yeah. You need to see. But the fight was so intense. Look at you. Sit and shut up. Hmm? Shut up your mouth. So how, how many of them did you kill? So tell me.
you have this habit of telling me shut up and I don't like it. Mm -mm. Oh, I don't like it at all. Look at you. One thing I don't like it. I'm really. One of these days you're going to push me to the wall. I cursed the living daylight out of them that they could not believe. No, that's nice. Clap for yourself. No, in fact, let me even begin to clap for myself. I tried. Listen, you sit down. When people insult your mother, hmm? you don't just run your mouth. Mm. It is that you beat them or you kill them. Kill them. Mm. You kill them. But you will follow me now. I will show you how to do this thing. Oh, sister, follow me. No, no, you keep this thing. Because I see, I will scatter everywhere. Just come with me. Oh, sister. <coughs> I don't want to go and fight for you. See, no, leave this thing. Just come. Before 10, before 10, before. Come with me. That's good. Let's go with this. Ha! 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 Your mother thinks she can come to our my mother's to our house and insult my mother and go free like that. No, it's not possible. We are here. Now my brother to no my brother to teach you a lesson that you will never ever forget. Mm. My brother is. So it's okay. Let me handle this. Okay. Um, you said your mother went to the shop, right? Yes. So, Why are you asking it? Okay. Um. So you two think you can just come to our house and insult my mother the way you like, right? Okay. <laughs> I really do not know when all these troubles will come to an end. I have endured. I keep praying and hoping that things will get better. Rather, they are getting worse. Mama. Mama, we all know what you've gone through to make sure we don't go hungry. Mm. We also pray that things will get better so that we'll be able to take care of you. Amen. Mama. Just calm down. Everything will be fine. Mm. I just pray everything will work for God will never let it go with you. Amen. And as for my mom, sit down, children will deal with. Stop. The battle is not ours. I trust in God. I put my trust in Him, and I know He will continue to fight for us. Amen. 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 Thank you, my children. Amen. 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 They paid to build that useless in the I do, so I need my own share of the money now. Madam, things no work out the way we, we plan on more. Meaning? You see, I'm not cut out for all these uh, 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 stupid police stories. So. Madam, nothing that stupid about waiting on God from just stage now. We did business together. You're supposed to give me my own share of the profits. You have already done the business. Give me, give me my own share of the profit now. Give me. We think say the thing go day easy like that too. But as we did do them, I saw our guy, our guy just enter. Go take over the whole business. We self, we don't see anything chop inside though. This is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. 
きりするぞ。ふん。そうフィーユーセンクさんがいみ。ガカのガガよ。And we can't do. No mind, huh? That's all we can do to be ready like that. Oh, you see, my presence here is not all connected with savouring your beauty. You know you are an epitome of beauty, beauty personified. You command the beauty that is exclusive to the angels. But, 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 but by the way, well, uh, have I done anything wrong? It, it didn't go wrong anywhere. But has this thing got anything to do with the money I have to give you? God forbid. I'll give you that one in bulk. All things, these things I've done. Uh, one of those uh, things in connection with Sina Conan for my symbiotic love. No! Baby, please, hurry. Fast, get me the money. I don't have much time left. I need to make my hair. S -s smell it. It's smelling. Uh, you'll be speaking with the grammar. Give me money. Huh? I will not fail you. I will not, and you know that. Just wait. let me go to your fireplace and have your quiet time. I know, but honestly, I'm not in the mood right now. You see, you see, it is hypothetically imperative that if you're nice to people, people will be nice to you. And what I'm telling you is that this is the principle of a principle. So let us, let us, when we get to that place, I promise, I know what I'll do because I will never leave you in one at all. Everything. Is it ringing? Eh, uh, wait, night, wait. Let me pick. It's not picking. It's not picking. Okay. Call it again. Hmm? It's not picking. Uh uh. Try to break the phone. Okay, what's now? Calm down. Uh uh. Hmm? Uh uh. Okay. What is it? Eh? Oh, get it. Juliet. What is it? I have noticed that something is eating in Kemiko. I've tried to find out what it is, but she's not. Juliet. What is going on? It's not that he cannot be a boy. Kem has been calling him since. He suddenly refused to pick her calls. And he will not even call her back. Come. Is there something you're not telling me? Well, do you I see it. It's not in Kim's fault. I followed in Kim to 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 Ikeda's father's house. He said his son has not passed any message across. You can imagine. I know that if I marry you girls off, my burden will be eased. But since it's not working out as planned, huh? all I ask God for is for him to take absolute control of everything. I'm tired of asking him why, because he alone knows the best. Mama. None of us is happy about this new development. But I know it is not past what Mama Osita can do. Papa Osita came to the shop 
and collected almost all the provisions. And when I tried collecting money from him, he threatened to break my head. Can you imagine that? Hey! Masigine has finished me. Hmm? What did I do to that man? Mama, eh? Mama, please calm down. Please. Mama, wait. Wait. Mama! Are you not coming? Start that pretense to me this morning. Oh, so you think I will not find out the reason why she told come to you and, and never to come back is because of what they go through in the hands of your spiritual husband, Abby? Festus. Festus. I don't have a spiritual husband, though. I don't have a spiritual husband. Ah, what kind of rubbish is this one now, eh? Is it me that you believe all, all these stupid lies that these villagers used to tell? Isn't it the reason why you kept the intention to marry a horse so that people will not reveal the secrets to me? Which secrets? Festus, I've told you before, I don't have a spiritual husband. What do you want me to do? Go make I lie. I know get. I mean, you give me. I don't have a spiritual husband. Come to think of it. You use your sense and you know they think. Eh? The person that came to tell you this thing was obviously the person that you want to forget me. You are the one lying in here. So you want me to suffer in the hands of your spiritual husband? See, I'm only here to confirm this and to warn you to stay away from me because I don't. Hey! Me here, don't <laughs> Shut up and listen to me. I'm only here to warn you to stay away from me. And do tell your spirit husband that I've washed my hands off you so that they won't come after me anymore. Festus! 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 I'm going to come and go. Come on. We keep here to me. Keep me! Festus! Festus! Give me! 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 Wait, Ojide. If you are asked now what you are doing, will you proudly beat your chest as a full go woman and say that you are stupid? Steve, if I'm not stupid, what does he look like I'm doing? How would he know? Can't you see he's blind? Shut up! Shut up too! I could go Can't you wobble out of our sight with those two left legs of yours? Anon Pam. Two left legs indeed. And continue with your God-given talent of spreading rumors that I and my sisters are witches. Fool! Inchedo, why don't you beat him up and teach him a lesson of his life? Mire Are you too not ashamed of yourselves? Yeah? All you know how to do in this village is quarrel, 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 everywhere, quarrel, every day, quarrel. And you sit back in your father's house and grow old. Yeah? And you're here telling me that I can't do it. You are not ashamed. Okoko Yibo, you too, you are among people saying it. Let me tell you, if you are looking, if you ever think of anybody to fight, I think the best thing for you is to go and fight your mother, who used her witchcraft to keep you in your father's house. So that you don't get married. Steve, you are mad! It is your mother that is a witch! Nonsense! Oh, you girls think it's a joke. Huh? You will remain in this house until you reach menopause. And you will be proud to say that you have a mother. Abby? The only achievement that will ever be recorded in your life is you sit back in your father's house with very soon you turn to Tanganche. No husband, nothing. And you remain in this house fighting her battles. But if you don't break this spell she used her witchcraft to put on you, you will be able to remain in this house forever and ever and ever. 
there's one secret I want to tell the two of you. The Igwe in council have decided that after one year, if people don't get married, whether sponsored by the villagers or anybody, they will call you and bestow a very powerful chieftaincy title of Lord or Mrs. Lord or Mrs. Or to all of you. Even the bishop of the Catholic Church in this village, they've also decided that after one year, all of you, if you don't get married, they will ordain you Reverend Sister Mrs. Nchedo and Reverend Sister Mrs. Nchedo. Liar! Because of your mother's witchcraft. Call my mother a witch one more time and I will show you. You think I'm scared of the two of you? Who we'll deal with you? I'm not afraid of you one bit. I am not. You see, the truth, it's bitter but I must always say it. Your mother bewitched all of you that you will get married in this village. You think that that's see me now? Do I look like somebody who's afraid of the two of you? Steve, get out of this compound. Get out of this compound. Yeah. Get out of this compound. Get out. Get out. Steve, Steve. Leave. Get out. Get out look at you. Hey, who? You I know only. Minishi. Oyoshi. Parawo. Get out. Oh, okay. Get out. Get out. Get out. Look at you. You're saying you. Saying Minishi. Rubbish. Idiot. Look at him. Why, why didn't you wash the place we used in eating food yesterday night? Mama, or have you forgotten that I'm the first son of this family? Such jobs are meant for Ken and Steve, and not me. So, we expect those who even go out and struggle and bring money for us to eat in this house, to still sweep the house and wash the place for you after feeding you fat. Go and wash this place. Useless man. Hey! Mama, if anybody is very useless in this family, I might is your husband. And Mama, I might even be tempted to add you to the list of useless people, but I won't do it. I remember when I used to bring money to this house, and all of you are eating, eating, and getting fat. Because now things have gone bad with me. You have comfortably taken it as a duty to remind me to go and borrow money, buy a rope, and hang myself. Mama, I will not do it. I will not do it. Even God. Will. Where did you go? Eh? Will you go to the kitchen and wash the place for me? Mama, I won't wash any place. I've, I've not eaten. I'm not going to. Mama, Mama, leave you. Steve. Steve, I'm in the city now. You are in which city? I'm telling you, as I'm talking to you right now, I just came into the city. Huh? Yeah, the same city where you are in now. I just came in right now. You see, I've been rolling, roaming up and down the streets of this city. Nobody wants to accommodate me. And as I'm talking to you now, the money in my pocket is almost finished. Then go back to the village now. You know that I've got you with that little bit. I don't have an accommodation of my own yet. What do you want me to do? As I said, just Ken, why, how can you say that now? Uh, I should go back to the village. At least you stay in, uh, uh, in Adobe's house. Why don't you come and uh, even if you sneak me into the house, hide me for some time. It will take long. After some time, I will be able to sort myself out and I will move out. Yeah? Please now. I don't know. You can't say that now. God forbid. I cannot do that. No, listen. Adobe will get angry now. Listen, go back home. I should go back to the village, Ken. Wait, wait, wait. Ken, you said I should go back to the village. Ken, I want to. I repeat, I will not try it until I've made it real big in this in this city before I will go back to the village. Uh -uh. Do you want them to laugh at me in the village? Eh? See, see, if you don't come and take me out of this place to where you are, I will. So if I come to that place, I will do something very stupid. I will write a note that will implicate you and Adobe, and the police will start looking for the two of you, and I will commit suicide. Eh? What, 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 what is it? Eh? See, oh, listen, I, I'm, I'm very desperate now. It's not like those days in the village. I'm very, very desperate now. Very, very desperate. Come and take me out of this paper. I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm very angry. And let me warn you, don't try to keep me waiting here. Are you, are you hearing me? If you try to keep me waiting, then I will tell you I know the address to Adobe's house. What is it? Do now. S Steve. Steve.
Steve! <sighs> Good God. What is that boy really up to? That's a dangerous threat. And Steve, I know, mean, is heartless enough to carry it out. How can I bring him here without informing my baby's first? No. No, I can't tell her such. It could make her to start seeing me as a body and perhaps she could sack or send me back to the village. No, no, I can't fix that. But Steve is my brother. His foolish threat and unpredictability notwithstanding he is still my blood brother. Ima! Ima! See, see, see. My brother is outside. Mm -hmm. I told him not to knock so that my cousin will not knock. That's good. That's good. Let's just go. Let's go outside. Okay. Where's the key? Okay. Where's the key? Just go inside and get him something to eat. I'll be back. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Thank you. Thank you. Hurry. This guy will be Korenji. Who? Korenji. But I think this your brother will be bigger risk taker more than you. No, they run the show. Ken, what are you doing outside by this time of the night? I heard the gates open and I heard some voices. Is there anything the matter? Um, yes. No, sorry. Uh, um, you know that madman that usually comes back for food? Yeah, he came and he was becoming too troublesome, so he might have to call me to help him chase him away. Have you done that? Yes. Okay, let's go inside. It's, it's late, please. Let's go in. Steve, just eat your food, okay? I'll have to go back inside. I don't be still awake. Hey? Right? Sleep well. Ken. Yes. Twelve solid days. Twelve whole days that I've been hiding in this hole of a place. This hole. Can I'm sick and I'm tired of it. Um, Ken. Hmm? Have you been able to please talk to our cousin Adobe to do something for me? Oh, Steve. Not this discussion over again tonight. I mean, what do you want me to tell her in this regard? Huh? Listen, I am still waiting for her to help me herself. 
Besides, she doesn't even know you are here. I keep you here, I feed you, I clothe you. Is that not outrageous enough? Huh? Yeah, outrageous. Listen, Steve, I bet you if I do anything or say anything that will make her understand what's going on, she will not only send us back to the village, she will equally arrest us. Arrest me? Yes, it's a big risk. A thief a property? <laughs> huh? Oh, okay. What you're saying is, is either I stay in this place or I go back to the village. Hey, Jesus, I just need your patience. I'm trying my best. Let me just try and put one or two things, you know, just arrange myself. I've had enough patience. Every day patience, patience, patience. I've had enough. Look at you now, look at me. Eh? See, again, you see me, I will not go back to that village. I told you this before, and I'm saying it again. I will not go back to that village until I've made it big. If I don't make it big, I will remain here. Inside like anywhere, I will stay here with you. So better do something now. I, I don't know how you will do it. Either you tell her or you look for something for me to do to make this money. In short, go. Good night. Get out. Have somebody who will help. You're here wearing fine top, fine jeans. Look at me. You're going driving, driving our cousin inside a fine car. AC will be blowing you. I'll be inside this heat. Bring, bring water. What was he saying? Oh my God, idiot! I call yourself my brother. Nonsense. Not every day. Wait, patience, patience, patience. I don't know if it's patience I used to make this money that we used to go back to the village. Well, this job is my only source of income for now. If your cousin gets to know what is going on, she will definitely sack me and I don't want that to happen. Don't worry, they won't sack you. If by this weekend and nothing good comes up, I will throw you out. Ima? Started helping me. Steve! Begging me can never make me to change my mind. I can continue to keep you here under one condition. I am ready to do anything. So long as I carry this money like this by myself and use it to do something. Really, at least do something in the village. Tell me your condition. See, see, talk fast, fast, and I'm ready. Ah. Anita, you know, like the plan? Well, the plan you and Ima drew up is good. Although it needs um, little adjustments here and there. But we'll do it. <laughs> Anita, correct, babe. Ani, Anita. <laughs> Ima? Yeah. How far this guy? This guy. Just say if you do one. This guy. <laughs> This guy not the baddest boy who I know since. He don't think now. Tell him, tell him. Now nah, small thing we had the guy did. Okay. But you, have you ever played a guitar before? Guitar? Pa? Ma, which is consign guitar for inside this plan? Eh? And see, I, I, I'm not a musician and I don't intend hey, to learn hey. one. But he's talking about a musical instrument here. Hmm. Talk about this. Have you ever handed it before? Steve. Uh, um. <laughs> well, we'll cut you before the operation. Oh, my God. 
Madama, Madama! Eh? Come on, come on, press that way, follow that way. Come on, press, press, soft. I said, make you soft today, Grace. Soft for the air. Soft. The sun smear. Must I tell you to go down? Come on, go down. Help me beg them not to kill me, I beg you. Hey, shh! Seems like your brother is smarter and more ambitious than you are, Ken. You might even have to talk too much to convince him to play along with us. What took you so long? Yes, I bless I. <laughs> the guy attacked and tore my clothes. When, when we stop on the way for him to have some fresh air, I had to stop over in my house for me to have a change of clothes. So, how much was he taking to the bank? Just take a look. Wow! We have made it big. Real big. Yes, sir. This money belongs to the company. See, I told you we'll be in big trouble if anything happens to this money. Steve, you who cares? You should be happy and even thankful to us for punishing that idiot cousin of ours for, for converting you to our personal driver. I think he was only trying to help. She was doing me a favor. You and I know we cannot, cannot pay her back like that now, please. What is this, Steve? I thought you said the guy would play alongside with us. When he realizes that the operation has succeeded, God forbid. This not be my cousin. Uh, Steve. Assault. Take this asshole away and dispose him. <laughs> Please. Anita. <laughs> has he got you to this? Remember, he's my blood brother. Please, I beg you in the name of God. Please. Steve, in a thing like this, you know it is very dangerous to mix business with sentiment. Let's, let's do away with this fool. I am sorry I would not support the killing and the wasting of my own blood brother. I mean, you guys said you were in the process of procuring a, a traveling document and visa for you in the next three weeks. Please, please. All I ask for is... Just, yes, hold him hostage here. Yeah. Give me some time. I, I, will, I will come up with something. I promise. I will, Instead of wasting him, you, you, you never can tell. But before long, he will have changed his mind and he will play to our part. What if he doesn't? I, I'll bear the cross. Once you guys have successfully left the shores of this country, you have to try to be very please. Anita, please, 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 please. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please. I don't press. Okay. <laughs> hey, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, um, Anita. The money. When are we going to share the money? I, I, I mean, I, I need to go to the village. I need to go to the village and redefine fun for my people. Not yet. We will share the money as soon as we are ready to leave the country. Meanwhile, I'll lend you 500,000 naira to go burn in your village. How about that? Yes! <laughs> yes, um, that, that's, 
say that's more like it. I, I mean, I, I need to go back to the village and. <laughs> Messiah is the job. Osta, I've called you. I want to talk to you. It pains my heart each time I remember that you're my first son. At your age, you are not married. You neither have a car nor a house of your own. At times, I begin to doubt that I am actually your biological father. Certainly, you, 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 you don't seem to have any future at all. Are you mad? Instead of being repentant, you are talking of Papa, Papa, Papa. Papa, is that why you brought madness into this our discussion? Papa, haven't you heard that? And we should stop thinking about what was, what would be, and start thinking of what is. And right now, what is night? And what is, is that? We should go to bed and sleep, my oh God. Please, Papa. No, no, no. Let me ask you a question. Do you actually know the full meanings of your name? Osita Dima Odregawa. Good! If things start getting better, it's still in time. Good. Papa. That is why if I should start enjoying my sleep from now, eh, I will catch up with those people that started sleeping long ago. Oh, what the powder dash! What a rubbish! <laughs> Let me tell you one thing. I will only pretend I did not hear your last statement and continue with why I called you here. Regrettably, came your brother. He's a driver in the city. Steven, that one. I don't, I don't even know where he is. His whereabout is, is very uncertain to me. Osita, I've lost hopes in all your brothers. Osita, you are my only hope. Eh? Or are you going to disappoint me too, like your other brothers? Are you going to disappoint me too? For someone that will be making money for you to take care of Chema and her baby. Papa, count me out. What? What a powder dash! Huh? I, I, I regret having you as a son. I regret having you as a son. Anyway, you see what you do to Please try it. No, leave it off. Uh -huh, Mama. Uh -huh. like what I was trying to tell you before you left, Mama, is that I don't want to waste any more time. I want to do everything that is necessary to be done as soon as possible. If that is what you want to do, my son, I will not be in your way. That means I will make arrangement for my husband's king's medal. Mm, Mama, mm -mm. that's how you have the opportunity to start demanding for heaven and earth. After all, there's no even investing in your time in my it's life. It's all right, my dear. None of them will be able to stop me from going ahead with the marriage, okay? There's nothing to worry about, my children. God will always make a way where there seems to be no way. 
Mama. 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 It is well. Mama, Mama. 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 With my hard earned money. Mama! <laughs> this is my car, Mama! Yes, Mama! Hey! Steve! <laughs> you too! Hey! You're not a driver. Uh, where is that be? Mama! Please tell this man that calls himself a boy that I am nobody's driver. And that what I will not take from him is insulting me. Tell him that I bought this car with my hard earned money. <laughs> Baba, look at my car. My machine. <laughs> Wait, Baba, let me play. Let me show you. You see, I told you I'm going to come back to this village as a big boy. Hey! No, no wait. wait. See, we are on earth. The, the money with which you procure this automobile in my head from. Papa, eh? Papa doesn't know that I am a big boy now. You are. Papa doesn't know that I am CEO in the making. Hey! Papa. The phone of which I acquired this automobile emanated from your son, me, Steve. Tell him. <laughs> By Jove, Steve, oh, we have nothing whatsoever to do with this vehicle unless and until I am convinced beyond reasonable doubt how you acquired the money for the procurement uh, and uh, acquisition and even purchase of this vehicle. I will be a party to it. I will never. Shut up. Yeah. Please shut up your mouth. Go away. You know I what? I didn't get the money. Shut up your mouth. My son will be as lazy as you are. Wait a minute. Are you kind of uh, talking morals? You have not still told me how you impregnated that, that little girl. What? Uh, Mama, I'm even... Uh... I'm even praying that she gives birth to a baby girl. Good. You know, Mama, ma, ma, at least me too, I, I, I will have a sister now. Maybe when she grows up, she will have money and half cars like her daughter will be. What? Shut up! Hey, <laughs> Mama. Oh, sister. <laughs> don't you ever mention that name in this house again. I don't want to hear it. Uh, uh, in fact, don't be surprised if I give you a tapia pia. If you ever mention that name in this ha, house. Mama again? <laughs> Mama say so you want to go and borrow money from Adobe and buy a tablet. Don't mention that name. Don't mention that name. Don't spoil my day. Mama, leave him. Mama, come, let's enjoy ourselves. This is your car, Mama. Are you not happy? Mama, don't mess, come on. Yeah? Mama, let me put another music for you. What let is? Me put out. What is my son? <laughs> Yourself. 
This is your gamma, man. That's why I come here, come, come and join us. <laughs> come and join us. Come and join us. Come What's that? What on earth do you think you're doing? Mm, Papa, if you're hungry, just eat. I can give you some. What? But ask me what I'm doing. It only shows that you, 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 you've gone blind. I used to be. Sometimes, like my father. You are exceptionally fortunate. If it were in the days of slave trading, I would have handed you over to the Europeans in exchange for a uh, pipe and tobacco. And even Miro. What? 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 Just be stupid. Just see what is happening here. Just imagine. Just see what your son is doing to him. The pot of rice I prepared for everybody. What am I even saying? It's not like father like son. That's it. Every time, false allegation. What an injudicious declaration. If I'm, are you insane? If I were insane, I wouldn't have given birth to a good son like Steve. Um, Mama, now that this gluten has finished all the food, I'm not definitely to eat. I'm hungry. Don't worry, my son. Just give me a few minutes and I'll prepare something delicious for you. Oh, that would be nice. I am more than famished and uh, uh, would want something delicious too. That is just, you know? Yeah. If you are delicious and delicious, you know, I can finish this one with your stupid son. What? Let's go. <clears throat> this one. And Mama, we got more time to drink, eh? Alan, oh, it was a cheer, Daniel. Who can be? I've said it on many occasions. I am not your father. I know it. Okay, my friend, I want to get water, Papa. Be good, eh? Use the big cup, the big cup. Hello, Steve. What are you still doing in the village? Haven't you had enough fun? For God's sake, cut that crap. Listen, the car hire people are on our neck. They want their car back. They are threatening to arrest, assault and I if you don't bring that car back tomorrow. What are you talking about? Listen, Steve. If you don't come back tomorrow with that car, I swear, I will tell the police, I will give them the address to your village and they will arrest you. If you don't want such embarrassment, then come back tomorrow with the car. I'm done with you. At least I don't understand. Why the disturbance is on the phone? I can remember I rented this car for two months. And it's not two months yet. And you've been calling my phone, disturbing me to bring back the car, bring back the car. What is happening? Listen, it's not just about the car. We used the car to bring you here. Our visa will be ready in four days' time. We'll be leaving the country immediately after that. And that means we can no longer keep your brother. As a matter of fact, Assault has been keeping your brother because I've been begging him to. So, we don't have much time. 
assault. Please. Please, you Messiah don't is the child. Please, don't try to beg me. Don't even think of such because I'm not going to listen to you. Hmm? I am going to keep him for four days and nothing more. Bless I. Yes, I. So, just try to sort out yourself the way you say. Four days, if I didn't see you, Messiah is the child. Yes, I. I go to play my game after the game. I will rest the case. Um, see, Anita, what do you think about what Steve said before leaving here? I think, well, it's obvious he's lying to us. Yeah, just to buy more time. But like I told you earlier, keeping Ken and the stolen car is a big risk. And we've taken that risk too long. Far too long. <sighs> it's time to end it all up. Yes, I. Bless I. So you're suggesting we should kill Ken? We should silence him once and for all. Murder him and sell up the guy immediately. Not that. I suggest we play a little game with Ken and the car that will keep the police off our track, at least for now. He says I just soft press. Yes, I. Bless I. See, uh, uh, I, I don't get it. I don't just get it. So, get the car. Put Ken in the boot. We'll take him and the car to a remote village and dump them there. If he survives it, fine for him. But if he doesn't, too bad. Let's clean this mess. Smart ass girl you are. Smart ass Aneta you are. Nothing do you. You see, from now eh, you'll be AKA. Bless you, bless you, bless I, bless I. Hmm. Hmm? Nothing do you. So let me go and get the useless guy okay. and the car right now, huh? Eh? Bless I, yes, I. If uh, it's the same Kenneth you are talking about, this is his father's house. <laughs> Your second question. I have not set my eyes on him ever since this stupid girl took him to the, to, to the city. I don't even know his father, but I don't know what has happened to him. And now you also want to take Stephen. Eh? Adobe. This is the height of it all, no? I mean, I'm not going to take it to Adobe. Wait! Hey, hey, hey. Eh? Is it my fault that she didn't give birth to a son? So your plan now is to take two of my children? Eh, Adobe? Hey! They've come with Veronica, don't we? Eh? Officer, you don't know who I am. You don't know who I am at all at all. Eh? 
If anything happens to my son, I'll make sure that you and your colleagues lose your jobs. I warn them that the person they're running after is uh, it, not Keno. And yet they're they running after him. If anything happens to my son, eh? Madam, we are taking you to the station. In fact, you are under arrest. Me under arrest? For what? What have I done? Eh? You want to arrest me? Hey! Adobe, is this your plan? Tell me, did your mother send you? Mama, sit down. Are you coming with us willingly or do you want us to force you? Mama, 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 come and see. See what? Mama, something is happening at Okligeni's house. Come and see. All right, all right, all right. Let this not be a joke. Which one do you want? Adobe. Which one do you want? Eh? Adobe. Eh, Mama. Ah. Are you going with the police now? Eh? Police, please. What, what has she done? Madam, who are you? She's my mother. My name is Veronica. I'm her mother. Why do they want to arrest my mother? Madam, she's under arrest for obstruction of justice. Her son, Kenneth, is a prime suspect in a criminal case. Hey, what? Kenneth that you took to the city. Ma. Hey, officers, please, oh. My daughter is not a thief, oh. My brother, shut up your stupid mouth. Shut up your mouth. My yeah, 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 yeah. You think we don't know that all your daughters are armed robbers? Thieves! Open our body. They hang, they hang on the roads in the night, aiding and abetting arm robbery. You think we don't know? Ma, she, 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 she. As I'm petty. Uh, officers, have you found Kenneth? Madam. We pursued him, but lost him somewhere else. I was telling you, the person you were running after was just, not. I know a place where you can find him. You do? Yes. Please take us there. Uh, Injideka, turn that fire you there. If you take them to, 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 to arrest my son. Are you stupid? Eh? They are they, 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 looking for Ken, and you want to go and show them where Stephen is. Are you mad? Woman, shut up your mouth. If not, I'll shut it up for you. And make sure you don't talk again. Who are you to talk to an officer like that? Who is an officer? Shut in, Jin. You are an officer. You call yourself a police. Enough! A police is supposed to be six feet five inches. Not this. What is your name? My name is Injideka, sir. Please, can you show us where we can find him? Yes, I'll take you. Okay, let's go with you. Officer, secure the suspect. You, come along with me. Come on. Come on. I'm coming. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Did you hear that? I'm a suspect. Me, suspect. For what? Eh? Madam, I'm not ready for this your drama. You can talk anyhow in front of Maga and go scot free. But if you try it with me, I'm going to make sure that you regret the day you were born. The day I was born, where you born? It is your mother who ever gave birth to you that we regret the day she gave birth to you. No, 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 no. When did a policeman start wearing a yellow, 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 yellow shirt? <laughs> Look at the show of the police are <laughs> Come and arrest me. I swear to God. Officer, secure her. Veronica and her children brought fake police to come and arrest me. Veronica and her children brought fake police secure to come and arrest me. now. Secure! She, she. This is one of the worst moments. If you can't find him, I'll take you to the next one. You have to stay here eh? and wait for us. You take this side, okay? Sir.
Bakalım lan şükür. Çok sütler. So you brought these two officers here to catch me? You saw us and you started running and you think you can escape from the police? Eh? Me? Me? Are they crazy? I can't do such a thing. It's not possible. Officers, this is Steve and not Ken. It, me, me, Steve. Sit down. Ken, let me wait, 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 sit down there. I said sit down. If you don't shut up your mouth, I'll slap off your teeth. Sir? Don't worry. Eh? Whether this man is killed or not, eh? from experience, it is very clear that this young man knows something, and we must find out. Tell them now, officer. Hack off him. Hey, I thought I said they send this. I thought you will pay for this. I swear, bastard, thief. I'm not a thief. Oh. Come on, move, move, move. What? You will pay for this. Move it. Do you know anything about Ken's disappearance? Hey, no, no, madam. I, I don't know. I, I swear to God, I don't know. You're like the only one he talks to during his free periods. He must have mentioned it to you that he was going to rob me. Ah, madam, how can I discuss how to rob you? Eh? I can't do such a thing now. That would be evil. So you do not know where we can find him? I, I wouldn't know, madam. For your own good. I just hope you are not connected to this, because if I, I okay, find okay, out madam, that you... I, 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 don't, I don't know why he decided to steal from you. I, I, I've been looking for it's him... It's alright. It's alright. It's okay. Just keep your eyes and your ears open. If you hear something that is going to help the police to track him down, please do not hesitate to tell me. Yes, ma'am. You can go. We have been looking around for Ken here. Ah. He did I just walked in. Um, I will ask her if um, she has any news about Ken. Uh, don't worry, we will be praying for you. Nothing will happen to you. Huh? You will not be put to shame because you decided to help your cousin. Uh, be strong, woman. Oh, I will call you. Uh, bye bye. Did you have any news about guess whereabouts? Mama, we've searched everywhere we believe Ken could be. All to no avail. Even went as far as asking questions. Nobody seems to know anything about his whereabouts. But for the police are still holding on to Steve. Steve. It was Ken that stole Adobe's money now, not Steve. Why would they still be holding him? Uh, uh, they, they say that. Steve knows something about the stolen money or Ken's whereabouts. That if he didn't know, he won't have run away when he saw them. They have a point there. But why would he run away now when he sighted the policeman? Huh? Let me call Adobe back and tell her. If not that I know you to be reliable, Sir, please. I'm sorry about the turnout of events. It's, it's just that I know you... You know that I have done everything possible to upgrade his employment status. Until that fool is found, I don't want to see you anywhere within this establishment. Um, sir, please, if you give me the opportunity to explain what I think The it's... only explanation I know is that you allow that fool to get away with my one million dollars. This is a finance clearing house. If you know you don't trust him that much, why then you bring him here for employment? Um, sir. Please, 
leave my office. Beans. Prove it. Hey. Oh. It's unfortunate this is coming at, at this time. Huh? Adobe, Adobe does not have money now. She has a problem. And it will be so unfair for us to start asking her for money now. Mm. Huh? Mama, we can't do it. No, no. It's not for that no. stupid thing that cost, that cost Adobe problem. Eh? Money has not been at this hey. at all. See, we are not happy. You are all bastards. That's true. Right. Right. Bastards! There is no evil like all of you. Let me You. You, Jideka. You are the one that showed the police where to catch my son. Eh? Okay. Anything that happens to him, that's it. All of you. We suffer it. If I'm a shut up and stop exhibiting your madness for the whole world to see. <laughs> huh? Zora Tom Wiggy. You think I'm joking? You think I'm making a noise? Eh? <sighs> your suffering has just started. I will teach you a lesson here. All of you. If I'm a, what can you do? You have attacked my family, both physically and spiritually. Everything you have done has come to nothing. What else can you do? I have come to look you in the eyes, Veronica, and tell you that the war has just started. And this is the beginning of your suffering. I am going to deal with all these things you call children. I'm going to deal with all of you. I was thinking you were coming to fight. Come and fight us. Fight mad people. Ifoma. Mad. Ifoma, I am serving the living God. Everything you will ever do to us will come to nothing unless he is not alive. Amen. Which God are you serving? Lele, you are serving God. You will see. War has just started. As we can't be done. Holy Ghost fire, push you there. Who is the Holy Ghost? Are you ready to speak? Speak out, speak out. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, speak out now. I swear to God. Officer, oh, it's alright, it's alright. Let us start from the name and the contacts of the boys around them. This boy is a nickel to you, I did. Yes. I'll kill you now. Yes, yes. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Yes. Yes. I'll kill you. Yes. Yes. Oh, 
You're with Mr. Ken Anichi. Hello? Hello? <coughs> Hello? 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 Oh, God. How can a man be in the house and it just looks like there's nobody at all? Oh, for goodness sake, if for a man, what is wrong with you? a man enjoy the peace and serenity of uh, the solitude of his home? I have told you that there will be no peace for the wicked. As long as you refuse to join forces with me to fight the wicked people in this family, you will never have peace. Never! Are you alright in the head? Do you know that you are vomiting all this rubbish against your husband and in such an outlandish manner? Okay. Where where is Steven, your son? Where is he? Okay, oh yes, Steven. Ah, uh, yes, I remember you having told me that he's in police custody. Or oh, am I not correct again? And what have you done as a father to go to the police station and find out what the case is and how he can be bailed? Oh my goodness, why should I bother myself about what he committed? After all, you have told me that he saw the police and ran away. And they chased him, arrested him, and is now being charged for fraud and robbery. So why am I going to the police station? Why am I going there? What am I going there to do? This is your son we're talking about here. Your own son. Your biological son. Okay, my son, I now realize. If he were my son, he would have told me ab initio how he made his money and how he got his vehicle. Remember, he left the village. And shortly after, came back with a lot of money and car. Money which he started throwing about in such a way that... Uh, 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 and that made Veronica so jealous that she had to bring the police to arrest him. Arrest the only one amongst your son that is useful. Let me ask you. Uh, yes. Where is Kenneth? Veronica and her daughters have used that one for money ritual. Oh! You seem to have forgotten something. You didn't mention Osita. Or is it not your son? Or... I am talking about uh, Steve. You are talking about Osita. Now, listen, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Open your ears. Nobody in this neighborhood or in this family will sleep a week tonight unless you wage a war against Veronica and her family right now. Informa, do I look like a warmonger? Do I in any way resemble Osama Bin Laden, or Saddam Hussein, or George Bush, or even the North Korean president? The former. Sorry, I'm not a warmonger or not engaged in any war. And I want to go in and have a rest. There will be no peace for you today. No peace. Unless you want me to exterminate, crucify, destroy and demolish you. Just get out of my way now. I'm not going anywhere. No rest for you. No rest for me? Yes. We shall see. Now listen, listen. Listen, let me tell you. If you want to kill me today, kill me. Kill me! Okay, kill, kill, you. kill me. You want me to kill you? Nobody will have rest. No. Madame. Move, 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 move. I won't do it again, madame, please. Please. Madame. Move. Madame. Hey.
Ignatius. Yes. I remember having this type of discussion with you some time ago. But just when it started yielding good result, things fell apart. Again. Oh. But I did all I had to do. You did not do enough. And you know that. See, Andrew, I did everything humanly possible for peace to reign in our family. But my wife has uh, bluntly refused peace to reign. Do you hear yourself now? You said your wife, not my wife. Now, let me tell you one thing. Jaws don't rest from chewing what is in the mouth until that in the mouth is either swallowed or spat out. No, hold it, hold it. What exactly are you inferring? Oh, your neighbor! Anybody in this house? Oh, yeah! Oh, Mo, it's me! Oh. James. Huh? What have you come to do in my house? Uh, my daughter is not feeling well, so I've come to inform Ignatius to come and take out a good hospital. Huh? Hello. It's Ignatius, a gynecologist. Boy, James, when did my husband become a medical doctor? When? Look, woman, since your husband is an expert in putting little children into family way, he should be prepared to take care of them. You are not even ashamed to say that you did not raise your daughter well. If she's a small girl, why didn't she learn how to close her legs instead of opening it for every goat that is in this village? I agree with you. Your husband is a he goat. But listen to me. Huh? I won't have you insult me. Do you understand, Ifoma? Yes, sir. James Agbagbo. Oh, you called me Agbagbo. Thank God you understand me. Now, go and bring your husband out. You want some money to take care of your daughter, isn't it? And you want my husband to give you the money. Okay? No problem. You can go ahead and stay in this compound. But, I want to assure you that if you leave this compound alive, know that it was a madman that made my mother pregnant for me. Wait. Actually, your mother was impregnated by a madman. It is true. <laughs> eh? Do you think I can, can do anything? That is nothing you can do. James. Yes. You are challenging me. You want to know what I can do? <laughs> eh? Okay. Wait. Go to blazes. I'm going to be farmer. And my forget for Nancy. Chell, I am going to You can do nothing. That's nothing you can do. Yeah. Go. You can't do anything. Come and tell me. No, stand. Get up. I'm a You couldn't even stand. To take one blow from me. Awo. Awo. Awo ko awo. You should have waited. I should be. You are waiting for my husband. So what? Are, what are you saying in inference? I feel ashamed that people from this kindred gather always to separate fight between your wife and your late brother's wife or between you and your wife and children. No, 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 hold on. Let me get through. Let me tell you, Andrew. If you are here to give me advice, for sure, I will take it. But if your advice metamorphoses into insult, I will not for you. Will... Shut up, Ignatius. I am not your mate. I know, I know, I know. I don't come here to buy favor from anybody. I'm only here to make sure that peace reigns in your family and that of your late brother. There will be no peace unless this king dread sends Veronica and her children on exile. No peace at all. Ifoma, you shut up your mouth. There will be peace in this family. If it does not bother you or your husband, it bothers me. I feel shamed. People reminding me of my king's man. Mazi, <laughs> I do not want to disrespect you yet, but I want to ask you one simple question. Are you aware that my son is in the police cell because of Veronica and her children? Are you aware? Mm, I heard your son was involved in... Uh, uh... Forget whatever you heard. If you want peace to reign in this family and this kindred, eh? then Veronica and her 
children must enter that same cell my son is now and stay there for the number of days my son is going to stay there otherwise there will be no peace no peace in this one if I'm, you make me laugh let me tell you one thing police cannot lock up anybody who did not commit any crime and what crime has my son committed uh, 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 point of information uh, your son committed a felony and armed robbery shut up your mouth Ignatius. shut up your stupid mouth and respect your old age I just sent away the father of the little girl you got pregnant. What cell has anybody put it in for that crime? And yet now, you have the moral will to say that my mama... Nonsense! What a rant rubbish. What a rant rubbish. What a desecration. You... Let him go. Come back to this house. What? What the fuck? Nani Andrew. Uh, Muna. I don't have any other thing to add to what I have just told you. Ifoma is just fomenting trouble for no just cause. Nay, my children and it's I do not have... It's alright. Our wife. My interest as it stands in this matter is to find a lasting solution to our problems. So that this kindred will have peace. Nay. I am a peace-loving person. I know. And I will do everything within my power to make sure there is peace in this family. Oh, I am happy for your readiness. I will now relate to others and get back to you in a moment on how best to tackle this matter. Thank you, sir. Thank you, my dear. God bless you. Go and prepare food for your for your brother, eh? God will punish you. Go. I said, what? go. When did I become a slave to Steve? When? Don't give me any reason to disown you. Oh, am I you forgotten so soon? Oh, you forgotten that you've disowned me right from the day Steve came in with a kind to this company. You disowned me. Eh? And Steve became your only son. Mama, if you want to take food to your son, that is in the prison. Go in there and cook the food. Fool! It's not prison. It's in the police cell. What is the difference between cell and prison? He does not have the kind of freedom that I have. As you see me now, I'm a very free man. I can go anywhere that I want to go. But he will always be inside that place and police will go. give him food and everything. Go, 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 go. So, Mama, if you want to give him food, hmm, go in there. Cook. If you can't cook, you go to Mama and Kechi. A restaurant and buy food. Oh, no, mm. Mama and Kichi in mm. and buy food for him. For me. I won't cook. Okay, we can cook for food. Go and cook for your brother. I can't cook. Go! Mama, I'm not cooking. I said go and cook for your brother. Mama, I want to sleep. Ma, I want to go and sleep. I want to go and sleep. Oh. Ma, I'm telling you, I want to go and sleep. Oh. For my... What is it for my... Eh? Why can't someone sleep in this house? You have vowed that there should be no peace in this family. But let me be frank with you. I will no longer tolerate your excesses. And the sooner you get into your teens call, the better for all of us. It's your score that is little. Hey, why are you too Papa, what is Zimaka? Zimaka. Zimaka. Come on, Papa. You're too much. Papa. For a very long while, this is the first time you've spoken like a man. Like my true... Is it my true father? Will, will, will you just shut up? You son is Idiot. a man. Why can't you grow up and, and, and be a man as I am? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> be a man. Father. Which father? Papa, you. I'm impregnating little girls in, uh, in the village. Oh, sister. Mama. <laughs> Mama, you are feeling me. Now, <laughs> Lana, but from like mother, like son. Oh, sister. Mama. <laughs> so, Mama, you are feeling me. Go cook for your brother. Mama, I can't cook. It. No. Uh, Winnie. I have come to tell you that. If the only reason Informa would leave my children and I alone is for us to be locked up at the police cell. You're ready, son. What? Are you alright? I'm fine, son. I just want peace to reign. But the police men cannot lock you and your children up 
The police do not lock up anybody who do not commit any crime. My Nico, help me tell her. She knows how to make it possible. Hmm. Veronica. Sir. Are you sure of what you are telling me now? Yes, sir. One more thing, sir. I would like all the king's men to be around on that day so that they will be our witnesses. That's all right. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Problem. You must be stupid for asking me that kind of a question. When well, you already know what the problem is, now don't you know? But, but that's not fair. Huh? How would I know the reason why you're like this if you don't tell me? You've been like this. At least say something. Allow me to rest. I don't want to get angry with you, okay? Please, Papa, don't get angry. I can see you are here to understand the impact of what you've just done. Huh? I am here. I am. Just look at me. Taking care of another man's responsibility. Has it occurred to you once? To go to the village and ask me to give you money? But I can't go there. Do you want his wife to kill me? His wife? Oh, now you know he has a wife. Eh? But when you were sneaking around the whole place, it's in the court to you, eh? But Papa, didn't you enjoy the money and provisions he was bringing for me? You must be very stupid. Did you tell me it was from the village you were getting this money from? Was I working? Was I? Yet you took all those things from me. You didn't even bother asking me where I got them from. Eh? Did you get me a job, Papa? Did you? Let me ask you. Did you? I am now saddled with the responsibility of taking care of you and you stand here telling me how bad a father I am. Thank you. Huh? Wait, I'm coming. Where is she? Choma! Where is this protein here? Choma! Come out and tell me how bad of a father I am. Come! Let me see. Let me see. Back at to me anyhow, addressing me as if I'm your mate. Oh, Andrew, my brother. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, I was about going out when you not arrived. But why don't we go inside and devour some African delicacies? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm only here to give a message to you and your wife. What message from the ghost? Will debar my brother from coming in so that we can take all of us. However, what is your message? Your wife said that the only way peace will return to this kindred, especially between her and your late brother's wife, is when Veronica and her children are locked up in the police cell. Nonsense! Ara nonsense! Look, I don't know about this. And by the way, count me out of that nonsensical arrangement. But your wife wants it. By the way, where is your wife? My wife? Oh, that woman, she left with excessive uh, uh, alacrity. Uh, wherever she's going to build my imagination. Tell your wife that Veronica said she is going to agree in the presence of our king's men to be locked up in the police cell so that if former will leave her and her children alone. I am already making arrangements for that. What? This is our nonsense! Bonkum! Bonkum, bonkum, bonkum back! That will not happen! What are that nonsense? Not in my generation! Mr. Okay. Ken. Yes, sir. For being trustworthy and hardworking, the management have mandated me to promote you from driver to senior staff of the company. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I have heard it all. But let me make myself clear. All these years we have been under bondage 
persecuting meaningless enmity between Mama Adobe and Mama. I am not going to, to shut up your mouth. So it's now my enmity. Eh? You have failed to realize that I have been fighting for your right. Mama, can you just come down? Can you calm down and listen? My brother is okay. fool. Don't you realize he's a younger brother? Of course. He's my younger brother. Mm -hmm. And I love him as my younger brother and I'm proud of him as my younger brother. Okay, no, okay, no. Thank you. Yeah, Maka. Thank you. Mama. But you, your own son, Steve. Is he not in the prison? Enjoying his vacation, and you are here. So bad. Mm -hmm. I'm you have always been a fool, and you know it. You. Fool. Ken, okay. if you think you have made so much money, why don't you bring it so that we can involve both police and the army? to send away my, um, uh, Veronica and her children. Mama, you count me out from those plans. I have attentively listened to your uh, rabble hypothesis and having come to the conclusion that it has reached a saturation point, I now want you to listen to me. I have a son called Osita Dimma. Papa, I'm your son. Your first son, Papa. Papa. Ken, my brother, has agreed to take me to the city. And me too, I've agreed to go with him to the city. With these few points, Papa, I think you and Ma should be convinced that uh, this family is now rebranding itself. Will, 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 will you just shut up and listen to me? Will you just shut up? Idiot. As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. By who? By you! And shut up! Based on that name, Osita Demma, it is my hope and prayer that this family will be progressing as from today onwards. While my son is still in the police cell and Veronica and her children are living their lives happily ever after. No, yeah. that will not happen. Oh no well, way. I have said my opinion. And that made my decision. Cure ED. Is a... a poor man cannot end the matter. Cure ED. Only one way go. Uh, Mama. So when are you going to prison? Hey, Vero. Thank God I met you. What is it? I hope Steve is fine. Steve is fine. Please, can I use your umbrella? I want to go to the market. The weather is changing. It seems as if it's going to rain. <sighs> Farmer, you almost got me scared. I thought yeah. I, something went wrong with the baby. I, I don't know. I didn't know that it was all about an umbrella. No, 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 no. Take the umbrella. You and Steve need it more than I do. Thank you, Vero. I all appreciate it. Right. <laughs> all right. Happy Amal. Huh? They were. Zuta. Bye bye. <laughs> So, Ifama, I want you to give me back my umbrella. What are you talking about? Is something wrong with you. I thought you came here to say before these elders how you and your children will go and suffer what my son has been suffering in the police station. You are right. That is why I'm here. But first of all, you will give me my umbrella before I do that. What umbrella are you talking about? Umbrella. The only umbrella I can remember is the one that got lost when Steve was still a baby. Come on. Is it the umbrella you're talking about? Yes. The umbrella that got lost when Steve was still a baby. She look at me. Veronica, you are evil. It's an act of witchcraft. Elders, are you hearing what I'm hearing? Hey! 
Me amache! What happened? Did I not? Look at me. You even said I should forget about it. Ifoma, I remember me saying what you just said then. But um, I have changed my mind. You just suddenly changed your mind. Because you don't want you and your daughters to go to the police station where my son is. Oh, wash she? Ima Mary, come on. Ima Mary. Umbrella, more than 20 years ago. Elders, you know what? You want me to never? You want me to never know what? You, elders, yes. You don't mind whatever happens here. We must remain here and settle this matter once and for all today. Today, yes, today. yes, yes. Uh, I am begging your people. If you nothing you can do to help me, help me. Because this it, it is too heavy on me. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll be settled. Come on, brother. Come on, run, brother. We are now going. Veronica, here are the umbrellas. Choose any of them. I even have a canopy in my house. If one is enough, enough, carry all of them, including my canopy, but leave me in peace. Veronica. Sir. Out of these umbrellas, is any one of them the particular one you need? No. And you are still insisting on that particular umbrella? Yes, no. If I want, you better go in and bring that umbrella and give it to her. Hey! 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 Ah, oh, Omar, what kind of elder are you? How can you judge a case like this? An umbrella that God lost more than 20 years ago. When I was still carrying Steve as a babe. Hi! If you were my shoes, will you be able to produce that umbrella? Okay. If I'm a, keep quiet. The elders have spoken. You either go and bring that particular umbrella, or you maintain peace. Otherwise, we send you back to your, your father's house. If Oma, you better go and bring that umbrella, that particular umbrella, or embrace peace in this kindred, or you will be sent back alone to your father's house. Elders, have I spoken your mind? Yes. 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 Anna. <clears throat> hey! You get it? Did you hear that? Yes. I heard them very clear, and I think the elders have spoken. At this point in time, my hands are tied. And by the way, my medulla oblongata needs a, a serenity. Well, if I'm a, my hand of friendship is still open, should you change your mind and let peace reign? Hi. See how I have suddenly become lonely. Even my immediate family has abandoned me. The powers I went to acquire failed me a long time ago. Hi! Hi! Oh. I think it has come to the point. If you can't beat them, you better join them. Maybe she... Hi! 
Be 